Hey Scrappy Peeps, Lisa Lisa here from the Cherry on Top, back with another quick video. I'll be using a template today from the Scrappy Sisters, which is myself at the Cherry on Top, Dana from Made by Kirche, and Jody from Throwing Some Scraps Around. I'll be working on this template down here in the lower left corner. This is one of Jody's templates. And I thought I'd make a video for a couple of different reasons. One is to show you just how flexible a template can be and how much you can make it your own. Just basically start out with a, a background, a format, a very basic basis, if you will. And also, I had this brilliant idea of using a heart shape for a photo. <gasps> took me forever. I had the whole page done except for this uh, heart shape photo. So I thought that would be fun. And it's also a way for me uh, to show off our six templates for four dollars to help out a scrappy sister. All of the money we earn for selling these templates will go right to her PayPal account so she can get a laptop while she's going through a very, very long rehabilitation in the hospital. Please leave a message if you'd like to just give some money to that instead of buy these templates. And thanks for your support. Okay, let me show you this template, right? So here it is. That is my dearest there in the center. <laughs> I'm using some goodies that I got for Barbary. Uh, from Scrappineers. It's a winter magic collection. And uh, as far as I know, some of those lives might still be linked. So head over to Scrappineers if you want to see if these are still free. These particular goodies, these particular goodies are from Heartstring Scrap Art. Let's see who else was there. Melissa Bennett and Vero. Those were the ones that I used. Okay. Now, you can see this is my finished product but I wanted to show you how you can place a photo rather successfully in a heart shape so you don't have to waste all your time trying to figure it out yourself <laughs> you can see with my picture there was a lot of background and it's not busy it's really focusing on a rather simple subject oh I see a little tip here which is my husband I'm gonna move the picture down just a tad there we go <laughs> I saw the little green in the background okay and this will give you the best fit in a heart shape let me show you some of the other pictures I had down here and I and I tried most of these and they just didn't work because they weren't the right shape now, here was a picture I tried to squish in. That is my brother and sister-in-law. But it focused too much on their faces here in the center. There wasn't enough background. So even though there is considerable background, it's not enough up here because don't forget the heart will dip in. And, and it wasn't enough on the sides. It just didn't work. And then I tried this one, and they were way too far apart. If they would have been a little bit closer together, it might have worked. But my heart was a bit of a skinny shape. And then I tried this one, but the picture was, uh, my subject was too close to the top of the picture. You really need to have it. This was actually a pretty good picture. And this year thing drove me crazy. It was so ugly. If I knew how to get rid of that thing, maybe uh, it would have been a little bit better. But it should be right here in the center, whatever your subject is. See, see what I mean by how busy it is in the background? And very contrasting colors. It just didn't fit right either. And then I tried this one. But here the bottom is all cut off. And this background is so incredibly busy. As gorgeous as it is. Hello. It was really way too busy with this and this and this. And all these different bushes and the hills in the bag it was really much too busy this one was also the same it didn't focus enough here and I kind of didn't like the orange and then this here banner in the back it all looked pretty bad <laughs> I really really wanted this one but no matter what I did I could not get it to fit properly there was always some part cut off so let's take a look at what my photo looks like that I could choose and that was this one. See what I mean? It's a very plain background. And the camera isn't even focused on the background. <laughs> that was definitely an accident. I'm usually a terrible photographer. This picture of my husband I think is so lovely. But this is the kind of picture you would need 
to fit the best in a heart shape. Very simple uh, subject. The background um, blotted out, if you will, or blurred out was very helpful into making it look much better. And he's really right in the center here. I have all this room to play around and his head isn't too close to the top nor too close to the bottom. And that is why this particular picture fits best in a heart shape. And that's all I have for you today. But I thought it would be very helpful for you if you wanted to just quick check out the vid real quick and when you need to get a photograph in a heart shape. Thanks so much for checking out the cherry. Happy scrapping!